Hello everyone. Are you looking for the evidence and analysis you need when writing about the character Gabriel John Utterson? Well look no further. The aim of this video is to provide you with all the information you need to help you achieve the very highest marks when being asked to explore Utterson in the novella The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. What we'll do now is run through a plethora of key quotes and analysis that you can include. So let's begin. Utterson chooses to ignore other people's thoughts. The character, a lawyer by trade, is non-judgmental and sees the best in all. The reportage style of the narrative helps to create a slightly more unbiased viewpoint of the events that take place, although Utterson's shock at the appearance and character of Hyde is clear throughout. Cold, scanty and embarrassing discourse, backward in sentiment, lean, long, dusty, dreary and yet somehow lovable. Utterson himself appears to be the character who finds society difficult. The listing of negative traits suggests the character, he is a character who should not be liked, but despite this, he is lovable, and therefore his viewpoints and description expressed by the character are therefore trustworthy. Mr Hyde was pale and dwarfish. He gave an impression of deformity without any nameable malformation. He had a displeasing smile. The overall impression creates the perfect image of reverse Darwinism. He is ugly in appearance and personality, according to Utterson. The adjective pale makes the character seem ill or otherworldly. He does not belong, therefore, in a normal society. This pleasing smile highlights that the character is not welcomed by conventional represent uh, society as represented by Utterson. God bless me, the man seemed hardly human, something troglodytic, shall we say. The interrogative sentence indicates that the character is unable to describe Hyde. He is a beastly other who does not belong in society. The phrase, God bless me, highlights that Hyde seems to be a crime against God, a comment on the distrust society had for science at the time. Troglodytic reinforces that Hyde is a character who is somewhat freakish and not part of the respectable society Utterson represents. If I'm the chief of sinners, I am the chief of sufferers also. This quote highlights the duality of the character and the psychological conflict within Chief demonstrates not only that Jekyll is extremely sinful, but the act, or in fact, the leader of it. However, the notion of suffering not only links to the concept of hell, but also to the regret the character is tortured by as a result of the fury of Hyde. The declarative sentence highlights the character and the feelings of the character at this point in the novella, which begin to hint towards Jekyll rather escape than feel the pain and become Hyde. Obviously, this being a reference to Utterson, highlights the trust and the relationship between the two, which we would not otherwise have gained the information from if it were not for that. It was like a man. It was like some damned juggernaut. This quote perfectly exemplifies the notion of reverse Darwinism, the principle that mankind can and potentially has regressed. The demonstrative pronoun it indicates that the character feels that Hyde is no man and therefore something other and monstrous. The noun phrase damned juggernaut just that Utterson views Hyde as an unstoppable force from hell, something truly gothic and villain.